I would like to say that uh, we're now at a stage here with this memorial where a lot of people thought it would never take place, where they would never see a proper memorial to the, one of the worst atrocities, or the worst atrocity in the history of this province. Well, as you can see here, it's going up. It has gone and probably be one of the best memorials, uh, certainly in County Armagh, if not in the whole of Northern Ireland. And that is down to the support we're getting from people, but we do need the people to dip a bit more because it is bigger and better than what we intended. Let's build it and build it right. Let's finish it and finish it right. And I hate asking people for money, but I would ask you folks to please dig and dig deep here this, for this memorial because it sends a clear message. This is part of the history, the most important part of the history in South Armagh. This is sending a message. You may have killed these people that night, but you didn't kill their memory. You didn't kill the families that were left behind. And we intend to make sure that the people involved in this atrocity is brought to justice. Beyond the no illusion, this here is sending a message to the killers that we have not forgot. The community has not forgot what you did here that night. I'd like to thank fellows who sent a donation across from Drum Chapel, Corby, Liverpool, uh, the Friends of the Somme in Corby, the Friends of the Somme in Liverpool and uh, Drum Chapel. Thanks very much. It just shows that people from different parts of the United Kingdom do care what happened at South Armagh, at Kings Mills. We appreciate your support. I also want to make it clear here, there is an attempt to demonise ourselves. There has been an attempt made to demonise the innocent victims in South Armagh, but we can't be bought off. They now realise that, that we cannot be bought off. And I have to say, over this last number of weeks, I've been meeting people from around different parts of Ulster. In Belfast, numerous groups in Belfast, uh, not to anybody who wants to go again a peace agreement. People who are sick and tired of their communities being demonized and being trampled on, who just want to build their own communities to live in peace and to live no better, but certainly no worse than anybody else, to get what they're entitled to. Now, there were promises made to the loyalist people of this country and to the Protestant people of this country. It is time they are fulfilled. And I always, I always have been truthful and I always will give credit where credit is due. I do believe there is people within the DUP who is genuine and who do want to see things moved on within the unionist and loyalist community. And people will say, oh, well, you shouldn't say that. But I, I have always said what I believe to be right. And I do believe there is people in the DUP who do want to try and move this thing on. I also do believe there is a lot of useless hullions within the DUP. But then we've got useless hullions within every political party. But I will always give credit where credit is due. I believe there is some people there now who see that we're not going away, who see that it has to be dealt with, and who actually are prepared to take a stand and fight our corner. I would ask them to do that, not only for us, but for the areas of Belfast, the areas of Port of Down, the areas of Mid-Ulster, the areas of uh, Tyrone, Londonderry. All the people want is to get on with their lives. Not for the IRA to justify the butchery and the destruction of their community. Because that will never be allowed to happen. We will not let it happen. And I have to say, I have never been as encouraged as what I have over this last number of weeks. The amount of people who have been in touch with me, who think exactly the way we do. And I used to think people from Belfast and other areas, you know, <laughs> they live in another world. They don't. They live in Ulster. They're good Ulster Protestants 
good Ulster loyalists and also ordinary people from the nationalist community who simply just want to get on with their lives as well, who are sick and tired of the IRA riding on their backs and trying to justify a dirty, stinking, murderous campaign that they carried out. Now, we have sent the message clear. We will not be intimidated. Not by the IRA, not by the government, and certainly not by some of our own who have been bought off and who have taken the pound and they've set themselves up to run. Whenever the money dries up, they will run. Our communities will still be here. The people who want to build our communities want the money to be invested properly in our communities. And we want to see a just society. We want to see people held to account. We want a proper police force. And I'll have to say this, never, never in the history of this country has our police force been as political as what it is today. Politics is running the police force of Northern Ireland. We will not be intimidated by so-called representatives within certain communities. Well, let's be truthful. They want to call, some of these boys call themselves leading members of paramilitaries. They're not. They're armchair generals. They're peacetime volunteers who are coming out now trying to demonize the communities by threatening people. Well, get off our backs. Get off the backs of the ordinary people in Belfast and let's start to live in peace and live. Let's say to our next generation, you have a future. The IRA is out to destroy this country. And I'll finish with this. I do believe there is a number of them who are genuine. There is a number of them who actually want to see things done and done properly. And I know some people will knock me for saying that, but I have always told it as I seen it. Now, if that changes, I will also tell you that it has changed. But I believe, I think they have now realised that we're not going to go away and they do want to see our history recorded and recorded properly. They do want justice to be seen, to be done. Let's work together, folks. That the Ulster men and women stand together because when we, can stand, when we stand together, there's nobody will defeat us.